So essentially what agents allow us to do is combine our large language models with tools that Langchain has available. And why this is super important is you can build out better applications. One of the biggest flaws right now between OpenAI and even like ChatGPT is the lack of up-to-date information. If you're searching things that happened in late 2022 or 23 or early 24, that data is not available. But we have a lot of tools available that have that information, such as Wikipedia, Google search, or even DuckDuckGo search. So by utilizing our large language model and also a tool and connecting them with the agent, we can build a lot better applications. Hey guys, welcome back to another video in this series that I am developing on large language models, OpenAI's API, and Langchain. Today, we're gonna to be covering agents as well as the agent executor. Now, recently with the new Langchain update, a lot of things with agents and agent executors have been depreciated. I've updated my code, so that way this is the most up-to-date video here on YouTube as of early 2024. We're going to be going over a few examples. Uh, the first one, which only covers one tool, and another example, which covers two tools. So a lot of information in this video. I highly recommend if this is your first time jumping into Langchain or OpenAI's API, watch some of the other videos in this playlist first, and also set up your API key. If you have watched some of those videos or have the basic understandings of how Langchain works, you should be ready to go. And we're gonna start coding in Google Colab. All right, so we're gonna start off in this Google Colab notebook. We're actually gonna have to install quite a lot of things. So stay with me on this one. Install duck, duck, go search. Then we're gonna pip install Wikipedia, pip install Wikipedia. Then we're gonna pip install Langchain. So pip install Langchain. Then after that, we're gonna pip install Langchain Hub. Pip install Langchain Hub. Then we're gonna pip install Langchain Open AI. And that should be good there. I'm only gonna do one other thing real quick is I'm gonna import OS in, I'm gonna say os.environ and then put open AI underscore API underscore key. And we're gonna set this equal to whatever your open AI API key is. It should start with an SK. I'm gonna paste mine in, but I'm gonna hide it from you guys. So that way you don't use my key, um, but I'll be pasting that there. So make sure you run each of these like that, or you run your cell with your API key, and I'll be back in probably about a minute or two once all these have been installed. All right, so let's bring in some dependencies now. So from link chain, open AI, import chat, open AI, from link chain, import hub, from link chain, dot agents, import, create open AI functions agent from Langchain dot agents import agent executor from Langchain dot schema import human message system message. And then last one from link chain. Actually, that should be the last one there, I believe. So let's just run that. Okay, awesome. Let's set up our LLM. So I'm gonna say LLM equals chat open AI. Then what I'm gonna set is the temperature. 0 0.5 we've been doing throughout this series and if you want to define your model here go ahead i'm just not going to do that uh, build a few more cells so what i'm going to do first is i'm going to say try to find try to find the 2023 world series champion now if you don't know what the world series is if you're not a baseball fan it's the winner of all the different baseball teams in America, Major League Baseball level, 
Uh, there's one team that wins it. Well, well, the problem with right now OpenAI's API is we don't have that type of data. 2023 has not been trained on these models yet. So it's going to be non-existent. So essentially what I'm just going to show you is that this data is missing. So message, and we're going to say over here, system message like that. And we're going to say inside of here, content equals, and I'm going to say a user will input in a year and you will get the baseball world series champion. Okay. And then we're going to set up our human message, which this needs to have a comma, but then we're going to say human message like that. And we're going to say content equals 2023. We'll put another comma over here. All right. And then should be good. And then I'm going to set up LM dot invoke and we're going to say our message. So that, and let's see how this ends up work. So here we go. And it says content, the baseball world series champion for the year 2023 is not known as it is a future event. Well, we're sitting here in January, 2024. So it is not a future uh, event. So let's build out a way to do this. So let's see how we can set up a tool with our large language model. And the tool that we're going to be using is going to be Wikipedia. Is Wikipedia perfect? No, by absolutely means it is not perfect. Um, essentially what this tool will do, and I've covered in another video, is it'll find a Wikipedia page and then give you some information from it. So essentially we're going to use that information from the page to determine uh, the winner from the 2023 World Series. Could technically pull other pages and possibly might not find the information from that Wikipedia page, but we're going to try. And I know it's going to work because I already uh, prepped this code beforehand, but it might have to take a few times running this LLM. So we're going to say prompt equals, and this is new for um, this version of Langchain. I'm not too familiar with hub.pull. I got to do some research on it. Uh, so it's hwchase17 slash open AI functions agent. I saw this in the documentation. Again, I, I'm i not too sure what's specifically going on with this, and I'll probably cover another video when I research it. Um, but the old way to initialize agents has completely changed. So unfortunately, when I first prepped this video versus uh, when I'm recording it now, what I did was completely outdated and I had to restart from scratch. So sad, but I don't want to have something that does not work for you guys in like a few months. So from langchain.tools, we're going to import a few things, by the way. Uh, we're going to import in Wikipedia query run. And then from, God, that was a horrible spell of from uh, langchain community utilities, import our Wikipedia API wrapper like that. Okay. Should be good there. And then what I'm going to set up next is our API wrapper equals Wikipedia API wrapper like that. We're going to say top K results equals one doc content max. I'm going to say 500 so we can actually read what's going on in the article. So wiki tools now or wiki tool equals a Wikipedia query run thing didn't auto correct or auto finish on that one. And then we're going to say our API wrapper equals our API wrapper. So I guess I can just copy that over here. And lastly, we're going to set up our tools. So tools equal and what we're going to say, this is equal to the wiki tools. Should find there. Great, that ran. So now what we're going to say is agent equals create open AI functions agent. And you're going to pass in an LM. You're going to pass in tools. You're going to pass in a prompt have our agent now and then you have to build out your agent executor and it's going to be equal to agent executor 
I'm going to say agent equals agent and tools equals tools. And there's a few other optional parameters I'll show you in our next example. Um, but we're going to have that over here. Awesome. And now what we're going to do is we're going to call invoke. So agent executor dot invoke and I believe this is new. Um, based off the documentation, the old way it was depreciated. So we're going to say inputs and then we're going to say one more time who won the 2023 world series like that. And let's see how it goes. And here we go. Look, so our input is who won the 2023 World Series. And then the output is the Texas Rangers won the 2023 World Series. It was their first World Series title since their founding in 1961. So because we were able to implement this Wikipedia tool with our large language model, we're able to get that information, right? Earlier above, not known. But now we have that information. All you got to do essentially, right, is set up our prompt, which we grabbed over here import in our Wikipedia tool, which I set this up over here, set this equal to tools, create our agent and our executor, and then invoke your message and we're able to build that out. So I wanna just show you an example if we're gonna do multiple tools. So we're gonna say multiple tools. And this time what I wanna use is LM math, but I also wanna use duck, duck, go. And we're not going to use Wikipedia for this example, just to give you guys a little bit more experience with some other tools, but let's do that. So from LangChain, import LLM math chain. Okay, we'll run that. And from LangChain.agents, import in tool. And Essentially, what we're gonna do is set up our math chain. And I got this code for this math chain from another YouTube video. I can't remember whose it was, but when I was looking up this over here, let's see, from LM, M equals LM, verbose equals true. And there are other ways that you can set up math as well. You can take a look at some toolkits that probably have those in there, but I haven't covered toolkits in a video yet. I'll be doing that in the future. Tool dot from function. Can I call this another video? So function equals lm math chain dot run and name equals calculator. And then just put your description. And I know I need I have a comma there too. And we'll put description next. Equals useful for answering math questions. Only math questions and nothing else. Let me just see what this other verbiage was. Then it would say only input math expressions. All right. So now we have our math tool. I believe that's all the code for this one. Great. Now let's bring in our DuckDuckGo. So DuckDuckGo is to be easier from Ling Chain. Uh, tools import duck duck capital D duck go search results then we're gonna do search equals and then we're gonna do essentially this duck duck go search over here duck duck go that's gonna be search run not results like that. And actually this should have been search run here, not search results. So I do apologize. All right, so that should be there. And then what I'm gonna do is we're gonna set up our second version of tools. So I'm gonna say tools two equals, 
And what I'm going to input in over here is search as well as our math tool. So set that up over here. Awesome. Then we're going to set up our agent two. So agent two equals, and it's going to be the same uh, thing over here. This create the open AI. So I'm just going to copy that. And we should have over here on this side of things. I'm just going to clarify things. LM equals LM. And we're going to say tools equal tools two, and then prompt equals prompts. So it doesn't get confused, right? And then we need to set up our second agent executor. So agent executor like that. And we're going to say two equals agent executor. And then agent equals agent two, tools equal tools two. And this time what I'm gonna say is verbose equals true. And the reason why I wanna do verbose equals true is it'll show you step-by-step step what's going on with our agent. So you can see how it thinks. I think it's personally helpful. So we threw that in over here. And you can do another invoke. So I'm gonna say agent executor two and invoke. Okay. And it's gonna be very similar like what we put in over here, right? So let's just copy our input and I'm gonna slightly modify it. So I'm gonna say who won the 2021 World Series and how many years was it since their last World Series win? And there's a few different ways that this will run. So first, it's probably going to look for some results on DuckDuckGo. And potentially on there, it could tell you the last time that team, whoever it is in 2021, won their World Series. So you might get that information from there. Or it could take a look at who won the 2021 World Series and then look up that team and look up like World Series wins and do some math based around it. So there's, there's a few different approaches. I'm not too sure how this is going to work when I run it this time, but it should give us some answers. So let's run this executor and see if it works properly. So invoking DuckDuckGo search, right query 2021 World Series winner. It says Nathan Evaldi pitched six gutsy innings, right? Mitch Garver, first time. So it's saying what's going on over here, right? Finish chain. So who won the 2021 World Series? How many years was it since their last World Series win? We get the output that Atlanta Braves won the 2021 World Series. It's been 26 years since their last World Series win, which was 1995. You do some basic math, five plus six is one. And then you're at 2001, add 20 years, 2021. And that is the correct answer. So to do just to recap what's going on, there are some few complicated sections on here. If you're coming here from the past when initialize agent was used, it's no longer used, it's depreciated. So essentially what we're doing, right, as after we import quite a lot of stuff, is we set up our first tool. In this example over here, I set up Wikipedia. We set up our tool over here, our wiki tool. Then we set up an agent and we set up an agent executor. Our agent over here combines our LLM, the tools and the prompt, which the prompt right now is from this hub.pull. And I saw it all throughout the documentation. So this does change in the future, which it might just as a heads up. That's what it is right now in early 2024. So that's how we build our agent. And then our agent executor takes in an agent and then also takes in our tools. We can also set up that verbose property, which we have down over here, which if we do the invoke, um, it'll show you step-by-step step what's going on. I didn't do it for this one just to show you an example, just like on a basic level, how this works. But if we want to invoke it, shows you entering over here, DuckDuckGo search, and gets you the final answer on that side of things. And again, you can add in multiple tools if you want. In this one, I had the DuckDuckGo search as well as the math tool if that was needed. Uh, sometimes it makes sense to have multiple tools so that way you get a better answer. But because we were able to set up these different tools, we were able to find information that we wouldn't have been able to find normally, right? Uh, so because of the lag and information between OpenAI, 
and also these tools, we can't find a lot of information like who won the 2023 World Series. And that's where tools kind of just unlocks that. And there's a lot of tools out there. I believe there's 52 right now. Um, can't remember from the tools video, but there's a lot of opportunities to utilize tools and make better LLMs. Hey, you made it this far, which means you learned something new about agents. I appreciate you guys watching this video. Now, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, which most of you guys aren't, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, I take a lot of time to build out these videos and to subscribe is free. And it shows YouTube that people like these videos and are interested in data science or AI. Now, the next video that I would recommend in this series that I'm developing is going to be right over here. And this is going to be covering uh, agents with CSV files, which can show even more capability.